Today I would like to talk about moment.js which is a JavaScript library which you can use to manipulate dates and let's get started. So I have an HTML page here basically and I can show you what it has and if we look up inspect element you can say this is an input type of date time local and this is an HTML uh, uh, input type that is supported by some of the browser, browsers and it's uh, supported by Chrome and you can see that uh, that's what I have and uh, I have given it an ID of start and here's another one which I have given it an ID of uh, end so you have basically two dates if you go down it just says time now here I have a label which says ID of now so I can write some data to it and that's pretty much it <coughs> to include the moment uh, I have included the moment library here uh, here you can see that so uh, let me just uh, show you the moment.js home you can just kind of search for it and go over there and you can see uh, a lot of functionality that it provides so let me just show you a little bit of the functionality of uh, moment.js you might find useful so if you go in the app.js file basically to get uh, the current date you can just say now equal to moment which is what I've done and here in the label which was the now I am setting up the text to be uh, formatted and I have used a, a special formatting called 3Ls which is basically formatted based on the local date and if you see this is what it uh, comes down to time now is this uh, which is all good and uh, if you wanted to see this thing sometimes uh, in dates you want to see how much uh, time it has transpired since uh, the current date and you can use this function on the now moment object from now and here you can see that it was run uh, pretty much at the page load time so it's going to say a few seconds ago which is good and if you wanted to see uh, what is in the moment object you can just uh, say now to object and here I'm doing json.stringify so I can print it and here you can see that this object uh, would uh, give us access to various things such as years, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So that's pretty much uh, what you can see from here. Uh, let me just show you a little bit more functionality. Uh, here if we go down when I do the submit button, basically I'm doing three things. I'm saying that uh, uh, I'm reading whatever is in the date time val and that's what it is doing moment and this is the input text box and it is going to indicate whether the start date is valid or not and uh, it's also going to read the end portion end date and here uh, I've done a little bit uh, different thing where basically I'm saying uh, here is my start and I want to find the difference between the start and the end so I'm just doing a diff and end and it's going to give me the diff in milliseconds so I'm printing it out here on the console diff between start and end is in this and I'm showing you another function where it you can say now which is what it is and I'm checking whether it is between the start and the end date and it's going to tell us whether it's in between those two dates or not by giving us a true and a false so let's just see uh, if we try to run this what happens so I have not really entered anything in here and if I submit here you can say it is going to say start date is valid is false which is good and uh, right now we can ignore those two other things so let's just sickle this so to let's uh, just populate this and uh, you can see this action uh, this is actually done by um, chrome itself uh, i'm going to put in a date of uh, just one day uh, before this date and let's just do this and here i'm going to do this so this is my start date so it should be valid now and i'm going to also put in a valid date which is uh, uh, one day after the 26th so this would be 27th and I put in 0 0 and I'm going to put in the time so if you notice the difference between these two dates is exactly two days or 48 hours so I'm going to submit this and see what happens so here it's going to tell me that the start date is valid which is good it's giving that the difference between the start and the end date is just this much in milliseconds uh, actually this was not 20, uh, 48 hours you can see it was 36 hours this is 12 a.m. and this is 12 p.m. so it is 36 hours and it also tells me that the current date which is the October 26th is between start and end is true 
And if we wanted to see if this time is correct, we can basically say 36 hours. And um, each hour has 60, and then we have 60. And you can see it can, uh, uh, 24 plus 12 is how much? 36. 36 hours into, uh, let's just do the other way around. 2160, and I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 60 and it's going to give me 36 hours so you can see that's uh, correct so uh, basically you can uh, look and see there are many different functions but uh, to recap what I've shown you is how to use the date time uh, local input type and it works in many browsers also you can see you can format it in a different format you can do a lot of math with the dates and here you can check whether the dates that are being entered by the user are valid or not. Thank you for taking the time to look through this. If you want to know more, you can basically go to my website and search for many different videos, including this videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast.